on this channel, you're going to be getting a whole lot, a whole lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be doing a budget overview on the check that I'm going to be getting on the 14th. So let's get into it. But first, I'm, I don't think I've showed you guys my budget planner for that I'm going to be using for the year. So I am using the budget by paycheck workbook by the budget mom. All right, so let's get into it. So we are going to turn to the calendar view first. Let me get this in frame for you guys. That should be good. Okay. All right. So when I do my budget, I like to start out with a calendar view. So that way I know when I'm getting paid and when my bills are due. So I can just have a look, you know what I'm saying, like at a glance so I know what's going on. So we're going to be budgeting for the paycheck, paycheck pay period um, January 14th through the 27th because I get paid again on the 28th. So for this paycheck, we're going to be paying... Prime America, Netflix, The Mortgage, Pandora, Verizon, and oh, PNC and State Farm. All right, so that is the calendar view. That way I can see everything. And we're going to flip over to the breakdown. <coughs> All right, and I'm going to have to turn the page. So we are budgeting. $4,500 for the paycheck on Friday that I'm going to be getting. So like I said, we're going to be paying the mortgage, PNC. What else are we paying? We are paying, let's flip back, mortgage, PNC. Let's do State Farm. which is 230 and then we have Verizon which is 126 then we have Prime America and that is a hundred <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have Netflix and Pandora. So let's do Netflix. Netflix at $17.99. And then Pandora at $9.99. And then we'll look back to make sure that we have added everything. So go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we have everything. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this up. Get my calculator. Let me see if I put it to the side because I noticed that you guys really can't see the calculator when I'm adding it up. So let's let's see how this goes. See if this is better. All right, so we're gonna add the mortgage plus PNC plus State Farm, Verizon. All right, twenty four sixty eight ninety eight. We're just going to do that again and make sure we add it correctly. All right. So let's put that there. So the bill total is $24.68.98. All right. 
and what is left over after that. $2,031.02. All right. So we're just going to bring this down. Well, we, we're not doing any cash envelopes. We've already done that. So let's bring it over to the sinking funds, which is the leftover. Just 20 31 02 and I don't have enough space for my sinking fund so I have rolled it down here and my sinking funds equal my sinking I'm just looking at my cheat sheet my chicken my ch <laughs> sinking funds total is 12 so we're going to do sinking funds and the total is 1215 all right so we're going to put 1215 here and then we're going to subtract that for what we have left over here so minus 1215 that leaves me with 816. All right, so we are going to go down to the extra savings, which are my challenges. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going to let's do the 10k challenge in the 52 week all right so for the 10k we are budgeting a hundred in the 52 week we are budgeting 99 and then we can put Alana and Alea together And they both are going to be getting 50. Uh-oh. Why is my pen skipping? There we go. 50. And then let's do the... I guess we can put the diamond and the bills together. So we'll do that, the diamond challenge, and then the money I put for my bills. Y'all, this is, my, the bills is really not a challenge, but I just, because it's a savings and I keep it out in the same binder, I just, leave, I just put it in there like that. So we're going to leave it for now. So the diamond challenge is getting $305. And then what am I putting in bills? I'm just giving bills 25 so 246, am I missing anything? 246. So I have the 10K challenge, the 52 week. The, then I have Alana and Alea. And then I have Diamond and Bills. Oh, and then I have the 100 envelope. How are you guys doing on your challenges so far? How's it going? How's the challenges going for this year? Mine are going okay. Mine are going good because I've been working a lot of overtime, so I'm not having any issues with stuffing with um, you know, stuffing the money, so. And so it's going to be 118 for the 100 envelope challenge. And this all together is 747 which leaves a leftover of oh I didn't put I didn't bring the 816 down and 
A16 minus the 747 leaves 6902. So guys, I am going to put this $69 towards my car. And the my check is going to be a lot more than this. So when I come back and um, update you guys on what the actual really was, then I'll go ahead and let you guys know exactly how much extra I'm going to put in for my car. Um, but right now, from what I've budgeted, I only have $69 that I'm going to be putting to, uh, as an extra payment towards my car. So that is it for the budget guys i mean short and sweet this is just you know this is how i budget i budget paycheck to paycheck um yeah i mean this is it it really i really love the budget mom workbook because it makes it so simple because you know she has everything written out and you just fill everything in so it's really it's really simple for me so i really like it i'm really liking it so, okay guys, so we are, the channel is, <laughs> y'all, you you will not believe, like, my channel is growing, I think, so fast. Last time I looked, which was before I recorded the video, <laughs> I was at 695 subscribers, so I'm almost at 700. I just want to say, I just want to take the time to say thank you guys so much for coming over and watching little old me do my budget you know show you guys how i'm budgeting my money and trying to become you know financially responsible and debt free um yeah just just thank you and i'm so glad that i'm ex inspiring so many so like i have a few co-workers that um have been asking me about you know like budgeting and savings challenges and things like that because the word has spread at work that you know, I have a budgeting channel, so everybody is watching my channel, and I'm so grateful. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot of traffic. I've had a lot of new subscribers, and I'm really, I'm really appreciative. So thank you guys so much. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell your family and friends to come over and join join the nursing that life, that nursing that budget life family. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye.